If this scene doesn't appeal to you, and catalog shopping doesn't hold your interest, there is another way. The six quart, if it was a roast tur oven, would bake, it would slow cook, it would steam. The cable shopping channels bring the mall to your TV set. It is a two and a half billion dollar industry and growing. If you haven't tuned in lately, you may be surprised to find that TV shopping has gone beyond the hard sell pitch for the cubic zirconia of your dreams. About 40 percent of all the jewelry or all the merchandise that's sold is actually jewelry, the junk jewelry or the fashion jewelry as we call it. But there's a lot of other merchandise that's being offered or going to be offered. A lot of the major retailers are now getting into the home shopping networks. We've got Nordstrom's and we've got Bloomingdale's and they're selling designer fashions from Diane von Furstenberg and they're going into uh, Eddie Bauer and, and a lot of fashions such as that. Neiman, Marcus, Spiegel, Macy's and Penny's are also getting into the home shopping business and this your TV remote may be your order taker. You'll be able to actually move yourself through them all, go into stores, go up and down aisles, find products, pick them up off the shelves, turn them around, and look at ingredients. And eventually what they're projecting is with the holograms, you'll be able to actually go into a store or, you know, through the video and project the clothing and things like that on your body so you'll actually see how it looks on you. Admittedly, TV shopping is like the commercial that never ends. Here are a few tips to keep you out of the traps. Some TV hucksters promise bargain prices because they have no heavy overhead like retailers do. But comparison shopping is still the only way to be sure that bargain is really a good deal. And don't forget to add the cost and time of shipping to the selling price. It may make that bargain less appealing. Be sure to understand the return policy and who pays the shipping if the item doesn't measure up to your expectations. Avoid the impulse buying trap of constant exposure to the merchandise. Some say it can be addicting. And keep an eye on your credit card balance. This can be a shopaholic's nightmare. Lynn Sawyer for Live at Five.